Alrighty, boys and girls. Now we just finished cooking our beautiful honey bun from scratch. As you can see, it is quite warm and gooey. And we are gonna get ready to taste how delectable this is. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut right into that. Oh, it's still, oh. Excuse me, boys and girls. I gotta take this call. Yes, hello? But Still in the meeting. Yes, hello? But do you Still know in the meeting. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll be right there. All right, one sec. Let me just do my closing statement. All right, boys and girls, this has been Cooking with Bob. I'll see you guys next week. I gotta run, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed how we made that delicious honey bun from scratch. It was so good. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. All right, I'm coming. A few moments later. Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, hey, no, hey, this is, this is the Cooking with Bob show, Cooking with Bob, you know, I really didn't think I was going to be on the show again after the uh, ice cream and pretzel incident. Watch my face. Oh, that is not a little bit. It wasn't fun, but other than that, hey, how about this, um, instead of Cooking with Bob, let's see, how about, Cooking with Pastor Ryan. Hey boys and girls, Pastor Ryan here, and today I'm gonna be making you some really delicious and sweet treats. I like this pastry that Bob made. I'm gonna be making you something really, really, really good. But first, I need, can't do the chef's hat without an apron. I feel the power. I feel the power! I can feel the power! Bob's hat. Yes! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I feel complete. Today, we're gonna be making ants on a log. I really hope Bob has these ingredients here. What you need for these ingredients for this craft you can make at home is peanut butter, raisins, and you need some celery stalks. Just like this. Oh, and you need a butter knife. That right there. All right, boys and girls, let's begin. First, you're gonna take your celery stalk, you need to wash them, you can buy them at the store. Some people use a knife, you can either rip it off or bite it off. Ah, that really hurt, you just wanna snap it off, snap it off, snap it off. Sorry! Snap, snap. <laughs> but we're not done. Ah, the peanut butter! And remember, boys and girls, if you're allergic to peanut butter, you can use something like strawberry jam, you can use Nutella, you can use a whole array of stuff. And you're gonna take peanut butter, and you are going to put it in the log, just like so. All right, now we're done. Now we have the peanut butter in the logs, which is the celery stick. Now the next thing we need are raisins for our little ants. So what we have here is we have regular, regular raisins, dark chocolate yogurt raisins, vanilla flavored yogurt raisins. But today they are all ants. Ew! So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, how does Bob do it? As you're going to take, as the raisin, and then you take the log and you just pour the ants. Oh no, the ants are attacking the log. Oh. And there you have it, ants on a log. All right, let's do a, chocolate, a dark chocolate one. Dark chocolate's probably one of my favorite. Oh, that one already has ants on it. Oh no, you just do it all, no. Okay. And then you do the vanilla. Oh no. And then, you enjoy it. Mmm. Oh, really good. Mmm. 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 Oh! So good. Oh, we gotta try the vanilla. We have to. Got a little, little ants on there. Mm. 
the delicious mabuengos. Ants are very hard workers. And every time I do this project, I think of how hardworking ants are. But you know, a lot of times, hard work doesn't get you what you need or what you want. And that's what today's lesson is about. About how hard work can get you into heaven, but only grace and grace alone. It's found in Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. So teachers, let's get ready to teach these kids. And while you do that, I'm going to eat my ants on a log. See you soon, kids. This has been Cooking with Ryan. Uh oh, I hear someone. Gotta go. All right, let's. What the?